Hi, if you're new to Nomad, don't forget to watch my tutorials. Add a sphere primitive from the scene menu validate and subdivide. We will need a few spheres to make an eye, so clone three from the sphere. Turn off the selection and view of sphere two with only two spheres open. Move sphere with gizmo, minimize it and place it in the middle with the reset view to come to the front. First, we need to make a hollow for the iris. Leave the one-third part of the small sphere inside. Make Boolean with Voxel Merge. Select Small Sphere Make Invisible and select Big Sphere Make Visible. Give resolution value to 300 and remesh. Here it is, our iris cavity is formed. Smooth the edges with Smooth Tool. Clone the sphere for the pupil and make it smaller. Place it in the middle of the iris cavity. Make small sphere select and unvisible. Big sphere select visible and let's make pupil whole again with Boolean method. Smooth the edges. There are two spheres left and the other will form the outer layer of eye. I think the name is cornea and I will use it later. Now make the cornea invisible and add torus primitive. Shape into donuts with radiuses. After reset view, shape it with radiuses and put it in the middle. As you know, we use different colored clays with matte cap choice. While shaping, I prefer this when shaping. Now let's choose the white one from the shading menu, where we can see the painting better. Validate and subdivide torus. Let's choose Paint Tool and increase the intensity of painting from Painting menu. Open Symmetry menu, enable and give radial Y value 11. Select the circle at the bottom and paint the pupil hole to black. Open Stroke menu, select the alpha, make stroke type dynamic radius. From Stroke Painting menu, paint by dragging and selecting the blue color. Now let's choose the darker of this blue tone. Make radial Y32. Change the alpha from stroke menu and paint the outer part of the torus a dark color by dragging it towards the middle with the brush. Let's combine the two colors towards the middle using the smudge tool and colored the middle with the same method. This time, when using the smudge tool, decrease the radius setting. Drag outward and inward to give it a symmetrical shape. Let's give a little orange color in the middle, give the value of radial Y12 from symmetry menu and spread the orange color towards the middle. Let's paint the middle a little darker and make shapes by dragging in and out. Here you can give, shape the color you want. In fact, our eyes are almost finished because the most important thing is the shaping and coloring of the iris. Use that alpha that I created and choose insert pixels, it's only a line. And draw some lines on iris with stroke type, dot. If you want, you can create your own alpha. You can watch my video about the tutorial of making alpha. Now combine the colors with the smudge tool. Let's choose the sphere we created earlier. PBR mode from the shading menu and from material menu choose reflection. But the refraction here needs to be fixed. For this, we have to adjust the index of refraction and tap paint glossy. Yes, now the refraction has decreased. I decided to put a little more orange. Let me lower the symmetry setting and give it different shapes. There are many different colors of eyes. Some of them are blue, but there is a green honey color in them. Now paint the back of the eye with light red. For this, let's increase the radial Z setting to the top and paint it symmetrically. Now let me add the alpha I created as a vein from the stroke menu and put the veins in certain places with dynamic intensity. Let's choose the red color, turn off symmetry and increase the radius setting, put the veins in certain places. We created our eyes, now you can light them with environments or add lights to your object. You can watch my lightning video about three-point lightning. I'll come to the end of my video. If you want to learn more, please check out my other videos.